Hi, and thanks so much for joining me for my monthly Chanel One Eye, One Cheek, One Lip. If you'd like to see that, please keep watching. If you haven't seen one of these before, every month I order an eyeshadow palette, a blush, and a lip product from Chanel, and I put a look together. So let's go ahead and get started. And the Chanel package has arrived. I've ordered another Tissé palette, Tissé Vendôme. I also picked up a blush. This has been a highly requested one. This actually looks much more subdued than I expected it to look based on how it looked on the images. And here's the one lip shade. 22 soft coral. This is my third Tissé palette, so I will go ahead and swatch all of them for you at the end so you can see comparison. I plan to do that with every Tissé palette I get. As soon as I get a new one, I'll add it on and swatch everything side by side. But let's go ahead with the eye. So let's see, I'm not sure which one to take because these two look like they're really different in terms of their intensity. So maybe I'll take this first and just see what it looks like. So I'm taking the lightest shade. I'm gonna put that all over the lid and see. Well, actually, let's start on the lid and then see how far up we can go with this. Okay, I think it's okay. We'll just put a light wash of color. I was afraid it was going to be too light, but I think it's okay. This reminds me more of Tissé um, Rivoli in terms of the texture of it and the way it feels. Let's take a little bit of this peachy shade here. We'll put that on the lid. Okay, that's not as intense as I thought. Okay, I think overall maybe that's my impression of this. Not as intense as I thought it would look. And I do have some dryness to my lids today, so you'll get to see this on dryer lid. It's actually quite a pretty shade. We'll take this in the crease. Looks like it has a little bit of greenish tone in it. It's definitely cooler. Now this one doesn't seem as dense. I can actually put a little bit of pressure here without adding too much at a time. I don't have to go as light handed with this shade as some of the other palettes by Chanel. Quite sheer actually, which I prefer these days. So that's a positive for me. Okay, we're gonna go in now with this deepest shade in the corner. It's like a really cool, dark brown. I think that the browns in here are cool, but the peach obviously is warm, and so is that first shade. 
Okay, and I take the fluffy brush and just a little bit more of this, just to blend everything together. I'm gonna take this shade and run that underneath the eye. I'm gonna take this color and take that in the outer V area right here. And I like to bring this up as if it was an eyeliner, just to kind of make that a continuous line. That also helps me figure out kind of where to stop all of this and also where to place eyeliner on the top or where to stop my eyeliner on the top because I would go here and I would stop at this area. So it kind of gives me a little bit of a guide as well. Okay, I'm going to go into the lash line a little bit with the same deepest color right on top, right here on like the outer fourth or third or so. And we're just gonna take number 40 here and go in the water line. I like this because it's a little bit softer than Bron Agape. Um, that one's more intense, so since this is such a light, sheer kind of look, we're gonna go with 40. I'm gonna tight line though with Blackwood and then put mascara on. I've got this sample of Le Volume mascara, so we're gonna put this on as well. I think that went really dramatic with that mascara. I forgot how much volume it provided. I also did go in slightly a little bit more just to intensify each one of those shades, not each, these two shades. I went in a little bit more just in the same exact place and then a little bit more in the same exact place. So that's all I did. Although I wanna see if I can make this color pop a little bit more because I really thought you'd be able to see that quite uh, clearly, but I feel like it's very sheer. So let's just uh, go in like this and see. Okay, so if you wanna see that color, I would probably go in like this. The brush is a very sheer application of this. So we'll go like this. And then just so you can see, okay, now that's too much for me. So I'm gonna go over it with this lighter shade as well. that kind of softens it. I just wanted to see the color a little bit more. I felt like I got kind of lost in there. Let's go in with the blush. Yeah, I've actually had quite a few questions about picking this blush up. It's really hard to see. Okay, gotta catch the light correctly, but it does have that burgundy tone. Actually reminds me of the inside of that bag, that color. Let's just take this one easy at first because there's a lot of shimmer in there. Um, it is also more like an antique rose versus a a warmer shade, which I thought it would be. So yeah, this is definitely not as it looks online, at least to me. That's pretty. Yeah, there's definitely shimmer in there, more individual particles. So I would likely pair this with something else and keep it further away from the front of my face, but we're just gonna do this for today and see what happens. And it does build in intensity. I thought this was going to be one of those too light for me shades, but really pretty. Yeah, that's a pretty one. And again, <laughs> I think I put on too much. Okay, I'm gonna have to take some powder in the front here just to kind of mute that a little bit. Um, hummingbird powder, I think. I'm gonna take a bit of the Chantecaille hummingbird powder. Pretty though, it's a really nice shade. Let's take a highlighter. This one, of course, newer Chanel highlighting. What do they call it? A highlighting blush? It's a highlighter. <laughs> Actually, this pairs really well with the blush because the shimmer in the blush looks like this shade right here. take a little bit of this shade in the inner corner and see how brightening that is. Let's try it. 
Oh, that's nice. It's like a nice glow. It does look like a warm pinky shade though. Yeah, that's one thing about these. You just wanna make sure you have um, exfoliated in case you have any dry patches. So this is also a viewer recommendation in soft coral. Wow, that's vibrant. This is the third Tissé palette that I've ordered. And I have to say out of all three, I probably would rank this as three. <laughs> I think mostly because of the shades in there. I feel like maybe I'm just used to cooler shadows now because these are quite warm here. And then it's interesting because these are cool. So I think this would look really beautiful on blue eyes. I think it's pretty. I just, in terms of ranking them, I would prefer, of course, Tissé Rivoli, which you know I love. And then Tissé Essentiel is still more neutral. And so this one's more specific. I don't think it's as universal in terms of it going with many different things. I also feel like I didn't select well in terms of the cheek and the lip together. I feel like these did not go together. Although I have to say they did look different online. So. The online images made me think they would go together, but actually looking at them in person too, I feel like maybe they weren't the best combination. I mean, it looks okay, but I think I'd like to play around and see, compared to other things I have, how these can be put together. Because I feel like this is a really statement lip and maybe doesn't go well with this. I don't know. Let me know what you think. I think it looks fine. I just want to see what else these could do because I feel like this might look really good with something blue or like a navy eyeliner or like that marine color in the eyeliner. I think it would look really beautiful with that. So it's interesting because that blush reminds me of this one, this holiday one, because there's like a brownish element in there. So I'm going to swatch them for you next to each other just so we can take a look together. But I was trying to think, did this remind me of other shades that I had? And actually, it reminds me of a couple of shades. So it reminded me a little bit of Rose Bronze as well. So I have them all here. So this one, the 260 Alizane. This is it right here, 260. This is a holiday blush right here. So you can see that they do have something in common. Not totally the same. There's a lot more like shimmer in here. There are a lot more individual particles in this one though. And then this one is Rose Bronze, which it kind of remind me of as well. So we have Rose Bronze, Alizane. So you can see the difference though. We have here the Holiday Blush. So you can see how they kind of are similar. I would say Alizane and the Holiday Blush are closer in terms of the shades. Rose Bronze, Alizane, and then the holiday palette. If I can think of any other ones, like I'm looking right now, this is evening beige, it's much more warm than this one. Maybe Jersey, just to see. I mean, Jersey's not gonna have the same intensity, but maybe this is Jersey. Yeah, this is Ella Zane, so very different. As promised, I'm going to swatch all of the Tissés I have. I have three right now, so let's go ahead and look at those side by side. Starting on the left, we have Tissé Essentiel. Second is Tissé Rivoli. The third is Tissé Vendôme, the one I added today. So you can see the difference in the finishes. Tissé Essentiel, Tissé Rivoli, Tissé Vendôme. Okay, and then this lip, much brighter than I thought it was going to be. So I think that's another reason this is throwing me off in terms of the overall look. I just feel like I need to pair this with something else to really make it stand out um, because I feel like this was not it. Like this right here looks fine and then you see the lip and it throws everything off I think. But it's a very vibrant shade. So I'm gonna see about how to put this again together with something else. It's like a warmer version of say like the intensity of 43 sensual rose. So I feel like these are on par with intensity, but this is like a cool version and this is a warm version, but I will have to play around with the look 
for this particular lip. I think they are fine individually. Like there's nothing wrong with the palette. I just think it's a preference thing with me in terms of the shade. But let me know, do you have any of these products? Do you love them? How do you use them? What do you pair them with? I'd love to know. But that's it for today's video. So please take care of each other. Stay well if you enjoyed this video. If you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time.